Hey name babes, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is currently probably, what time is it? It is 11.30, um, so I don't have anything to do right now. I just thought that I'll put a video, a video together and show you guys how I got this look. Um, this is a new wig. This is hair from True Glory. It is three 26 inch bundles and one 16 inch lace closure. I did bleach it myself and I got it to match my skin tone as much as possible. Um, so basically what I did was I sewed the wig down, went from straight hair and I wand curled this look and basically on the ends I left them straight. It was kind of this look that I've been eyeing for a couple months that um, gave me the idea to do this on my long hair. I thought it was the perfect timing, the perfect length of hair. And so yeah, I was bored, don't have anything to do. We're quarantined, you know, we're on this 14 day hold or whatever. So I don't have anything else to do but do hair. So this is what I did. Um, I didn't really, it took me probably about, I watched like two videos on YouTube, so like just to pass by time. So it probably took me overall 30 minutes to do this because I did this side first in like 15 minutes and then I went to this side. This side took like 10, but I had to go back over here and redo it because I did this side apparently too fast and I just had to go back in and rewind it. So technically with the wand curler, I'll link everything below. Um, I've had this wand curl since my sophomore year in college. My grandmother bought it for me. Um, shout out to Nana. Um, this is, it was from a beauty spot store that was in Savannah. Um, it's called Tai Chi. They may still have it. It was probably like $19. But yeah, um, I don't know what size it is. This looks like the one and a half inch barrel. To, I don't really know the barrels, honestly. Um, I just pick it up and use it, whatever makes it work. So basically, you know, when you do, when you use a wand curler, they make spirals or whatever. It's typically like this. But in order to get a look like this, you'll see in the video in a second. To get this look, you basically have to curl the hair around the barrel. And then what I used was a setting spray. And my setting spray is the Got To Be Glue. This is like my go-to. I use this a lot. I use this to lay my hair down, flyaways, all of that good stuff. And basically what I did was I took the um, hair and curled it around the wand curl. And then I sprayed the Gossipy Glue after and I just let my hair sit for probably like 10 more minutes. And then after that, I just went in with a big comb. You don't want to use um, a comb this size. Like, I have hair in it. Don't want to use a comb this size because you can see the difference that the um, comb, the teeth in this comb are way larger than these. So when you use a larger tooth comb, it basically puts gaps in your hair and just gives you that big body wave type of hair. Like it just, that's just what it does. It's like hard to explain, but when you comb it with this, this is what it does. Basically using this comb is like using your fingers, but it gives you a cleaner look because with your fingers, I mean, you can't really straighten your hair as good as you will with a comb. And this one would just make your hair straight. So I just had the curls and then just went in and fluffed it how I wanted it and this is how it came out. So I got this hair from True Glory um, about a week ago and you know decided to do a wig. Um, my first obligation was to basically <laughs> dye this hair blue but then I was like I'm turning... 25. I don't want to have blue hair. Last year I had red hair, but I don't want to wear my nice long hair that I just paid for and dye it blue. I would like to put some highlights in it or something, you know, but I won't do it today. It'll probably be later on in life. But anyways, I don't want to drag this video. I just wanted to come on here and speak to you guys. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to Naturally Nay, please subscribe now. So, Let's get into this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. All right, Nay babe. So as you can see right now, I am currently just taking my flat iron and running it across the top of my closure, just making sure it's nice and flat. 
and I don't have any lumps. So with this wig, um, this is when I very when I first did the actual wig. So I just did a simple braid down, so cornrows straight back, just to see how the wig fit. It does fit differently now, like as in today, because I did a different braid pattern and I may insert some clips right there. It probably does look flat to you, but to me, it's not as flat as I would want it to be. But anyway, I'm just taking the flat iron across the top. And then after that, um, I'm just making sure everything is flat and there are no flyaways. And then I am going to go in with my wand curl. Look at me. <laughs> so yeah, this hair is like super long but it's also super cute. Okay, girl, now. <laughs> so yeah, now it's time for me to go in with the wand curl. Um, right there, I am using some got to be glue because I just want the top to be all the way down and stuff like that. I have a lot of flyaways with this closure because I think I plucked it wrong. <laughs> Okay, well not wrong, I wouldn't say wrong, but um, I probably over it just a little bit, but I might insert some pictures and you'll see where I fixed it, so you can't really tell. Maybe that's just me over analyzing the closure. But anyway, so I just went in and took the flat iron and ran it through the hair so that it will be flat and my um, wand curls won't look all so big. I don't like big hair. Not a fan of big hair. I like, I don't like thin hair either, but you know, kind of medium density type hair. So yeah. All right, so now I'm just going in and separating my hair to get ready to wand curl it. I'm just putting it in a scrunchie and then I am gonna take my one inch or one and a half inch barrel I don't know what size barrel it is, but I'm gonna go in and basically take the, okay, what am I doing now? Uh, okay, get it together, Naomi. But anyway, I'm gonna go in and wrap the hair around the barrel, but I'm not gonna take the hair and go all the way to the end of the barrel. I'm gonna go, well, not to the end of the barrel, but the end of my hair. I'm gonna go almost probably three inches below my hair so or above my hair <laughs> I think y'all get what I'm trying to say but I'm gonna go to the end of the hair to where I have at least three inches straight and then I'll leave it like that so this is the look I'm going for I saw on um, Pinterest you know you go on Pinterest to see whatever you like so I got a hair inspiration off of there so I'm gonna try to achieve that look and that is how it looks right now. So I'm going to go in and do every piece of hair that same exact way because of the look that I'm trying to go for. So I'm not going to talk so much today. So I just want you guys to stay tuned and enjoy the video. So we're halfway done. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, girl, I'll see you. So yeah, we're gonna go to the other side. Um, don't mind me putting that hair in my mouth. Um, that's just how I'm holding my hair right now because the clips were not working for me. It kept getting in my way. I like to have hair out of the way, like completely out of the way. So I wanted to add, um, I hold the hair on the wand curl for 30 seconds or more. I don't go over a minute. The longest I hold the hair on the wand curl is probably 45 seconds. But I literally count from 1 to 45 or from 1 to 30, however long I think I should leave my hair on the wand curl. And that is what works for me. 
and then I go in with my got to be glued to hold the curls so that when I get ready to comb out after I'm done, my curls don't fall. So they're intact, in place, and bouncy, okay? All right, babe, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And look at those curls, they are popping. Yes, look at me, look at me. All right, um, I'll chat with you guys later. Love you guys, bye.